Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I am Tom Rouse. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Uh, make sure you stay tuned until the end of today's episode because there's a little bit of news that I want to share with all of you at the end. Uh, so to start off with today, the first bit of news I've got is that Silvio, uh, his contract has still not been decided whether or not he's going to stay on next season. But I reckon that he will. I think he showed a little bit of promise in the last few games that he played at the end of uh, last season. Um, with the big influx of Portuguese players that's expected as well, particularly we've already seen Miranda coming in, who is a Portuguese centre-back. If Silvio is going to play left-back, that would provide some good chemistry. I know it's a bit cheesy to talk about chemistry in terms of football now with how FIFA use it. Um, but if you've got Cavalier on the left, Silvio left-back, Miranda, there's a little bit of a Portuguese thread going down that side of the pitch already. So I would sign him. I don't think there's any harm in doing that for another year. Uh, he's only 29, he's struggled a little bit with um, injuries since he broke his leg back in 2014 when he was at Benfica, but I think he's shown enough promise to give him another year's contract. Moving on from that then, some players coming in, and now we're starting to see a couple of players being linked with us with a Portuguese and a George Mendes background. So the first one is a player that Arsenal have shown interest in in the past, and in fact this player has rejected Arsenal in the past. Uh, Diogo Gonçalves. Apologies if that um, try, uh, pronunciation was incorrect, but he's a Benfica player who's struggled a little bit for uh, appearances over the last couple of years because of the amount of wingers that Benfica have. So I don't think it's because of the lack of quality there, but I think it's just because of the sheer numbers. Uh, but Nuno knows him. Um, he's another. He's a Mendes client. He's only 20 years old and I think he'd provide good competition for Costa and Cavaliero uh, because I think at the moment, particularly of lots of points last season, when either one of those two wasn't playing, the other one was just double marked out of the game. And if we could have three wingers of top, top quality and pace and you know fright really shock some teams, that could be a massive difference because we saw that when Cavaliero was at the team, we struggled. When Costa was at the team, we struggled. So hopefully, those a bit of competition and a little extra bit of quality could provide some bit of a difference. Uh, that story was on SportWitness.co.uk. So I don't know whether to trust that story, but could be they could, the story could have some legs. Uh, another story as well is that Wolves are keeping close tabs on Aves striker Alexandra Guedes. He is um, an under-20 Portugal striker who was promoted to the top division and it will be well known by Nuno. Um, and we're looking for a striker, so he could be somebody to bring in. Again, I don't know a lot about him, but he's young, he's hungry, he'd be looking to improve. He'd be, have good connections with Costa and Cavaleiro, um, being Portuguese. But we're seeing now the influx of these Portuguese players being linked to the club, which is exciting, but it's also a little bit... <coughs> A little bit disconcerting, I think, for some of the players who've been here for a long time. But we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. But the players are due in back in training in a week's time, so we'll expect to see a lot more movement in that respect there. In terms of going out, um, Courtney Hawes has been highly linked with a move to either Arsenal or West Ham, but that's been sort of rumbling on for about a year or so, really. There's no bid on the table. I think it would be a great shame if we did sell him. I also think that for him it's probably the wrong time in his career because particularly with Arsenal, if he was going to go to the, to them, he'd be sitting alongside sort of Rob Holding is their young centre back that they're bringing through and I'm sure that they'll have young players in the ranks as well that they'd be looking to bring through. So it wouldn't be good for him. But saying that he'd have much better coaching you'd imagine at a team like Arsenal. But I really, really think that he's got the potential to be a top player with us next season. And I would imagine that he will be our first choice centre-back alongside Roderick Miranda at the moment. Uh, but we'll see what happens there. James Henry is still linked with Portsmouth. He's followed Jackie around quite a few places. He was with him at Millwall. He brought him to Molyneux. And the deal is expected to go through in the next two weeks or so to take him to Portsmouth. And the final bit of out news is Jed Wallace is still, his move to Millwall is still going on. Uh, it's expected to be finished within the next two weeks or so. But um, yeah, 
never really reached his potential at Wolves yet. Wallace, I spoke about him a couple of weeks ago. He's shown good signs in League One with Millwall, but could never do it at the Wolves. I don't know. He wasn't really given a fair chance. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and then in other news, the fixtures are going to be released on Wednesday at 9 o'clock. So make sure that you tune into this channel on Wednesday because I'll be going through the top five away days that you need to go to next season. And that brings me on to the last bit of news, which is that I'm going to rebrand this channel. Over the last six months or so, I've purely focused on Wolves. I started this channel around about November, December time. I know that it says 2006 if you look back, but... Really, this has been a channel which has grown since January, February, and most, I'd say 90% of my audience here are Wolves fans, subscribers, so I want to focus in on that, and I wanted to become a little bit more accessible to the casual viewer, the people who just click on it and watch the odd video. They see my name at the top and they think, ah, oh, you know, he probably does other stuff as well, and it's not very interesting. So I'm going to try and rebrand the channel, There'll be a Twitter and there'll be a Facebook page to go alongside it and an Instagram, possibly a Snapchat, although I don't use that very often myself anyway. Um, and I, the goal is to get this channel to be as big as uh, channels like Talk Norwich City or uh, Arsenal Fan, well, Arsenal Fan TVs, and it, the, the biggest of all these fan channels. So to get up to a stage where I could compete with Norwich City or the, uh, there's a Stoke one, the Bear Pit. Um, that that's the ambition for me. This is just something that I enjoy doing. I'd love my ambition, really. I'm a teacher at the moment, but my ambition is to become a sports journalist. So just doing this in my kitchen at the moment, in my bedroom, whatever. It's just a bit of fun, but I'm enjoying it. The channel is growing massively, so I'm going to rebrand the channel, and the channel is going to be called. The old golden black. I put a little thing about uh, 10 o'clock last night on Twitter. A few people voted on it. The other option was um, Under a Wondrous Scarf. So if you really think that that is a better channel name, then please put in the comments down below. But over the next week or so, it's going to start changing from Tom Rouse FC into the old golden black. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because it's hopefully... I've got a quite a good... Subscriber base now 450 odd. I would have really stretched that out and get to at least a thousand Before Christmas that'd be amazing, but I think I reckon I could do it sooner um, With your help as well if you keep sharing these videos keep liking them keep telling your friends And I'd be really really happy if by the season starts if I can have a, Another hundred subscribers that'd be amazing. So thank you everybody who subscribed recently everybody's watched these videos and Hopefully we can carry on growing, keep on doing these updates for you, keep bringing you up to the minute news with the Wolves and reactions and everything else. But thank you very much for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.